Uh, I think we stopped at this point saying that uh, verb plus optional noun and infinitive. Okay? When I say optional noun, there is an option. You may use it, you may not use it. Does not make any difference? What happens if we use? What happens if we do not use? We will see. Now, here I said they asked to leave. So, the same thing if I want to put, I can, I can also put it over here. They asked me to leave. Okay, right. Can you give me this one for uh, in that form? They prepared to take the test. They prepared, prepared us to take the test. Right. They prepared us. Here you can use this us. They prepared us to take the test. If you put that us, then it becomes the previous example that we discussed. Required that is noun. required noun. Okay. If I don't use this, then it becomes the optional noun. Okay. Can you give me some examples in this? They prepared me to take the test. Okay, that is one. Any other? Want. If you want to say want. I want I want to study Spanish. Or instead of I we can say uh, they. They want to study Spanish. Okay? I can say this, but if I want to add a noun over here, then I can say they want me, me, to, study. me to. to study Spanish. Okay? So, this one will come into your subject plus verb plus optional noun plus infinitive. So, this can be the infinitive can be used in this manner. Okay? Right. Shall we get into the other one? I will say verbs followed by <coughs> infinitives. Right. If I say the word agree, agree. So, if I use this, you can say Tom. Tom agreed to help me. Right, very good. Tom agreed. Tom becomes your subject. Agreed becomes your verb. Okay? Agreed. Infinitives. To help. Me. Help. Tom agreed to help. So this to becomes your infinitive. Can I give some more examples with appear? Any example with appear? His health appear to be better. Very good. His health appeared to be to be better. So here, which one is the infinitive now? To, to, be. Be. to be. To be. Okay. So his health becomes the subject. Appeared becomes your verb. Okay, to be becomes the infinitive. So, can you give another example? Any? She promised to stop smoking. Mm. She or he or you can also say they. Hmm? Hmm. Promised to stop smoking. Okay. So, this comes into another category of your verbs which are followed by infinitives. Can you try out with some more examples on your own if I possible? I chose to help. I? I chose to help. I chose to help. Okay. They expect to arrive early. Very good. Any other? I prepared to play cricket. I prepared to play cricket. Okay. All these things which are there. Now, this is how we have another one category of the verbs which are used, I mean verbs followed by infinitives. So far, we have used ver, uh, infinitives with the optional noun, infinitives with the required noun. Now, we used uh, infinitives which are followed by the verbs. Okay? Right. Now, we will see how these infinitives can be used as different parts of speech. Now, generally what happens? The uh, role of any any word in english we have one rule which says that it changes 
the rule changes, the word changes its position. When it changes its position, it also changes the parts of speech. Whichever role it is playing in the, in the sentence, according to that role, the parts of speech also changes. For example, now Gladys, that is I. Now Gladys is a teacher in the class, same Gladys is a daughter at home, same Gladys will be the, is a, is a friend to the friends outside. And same Gladys is a cousin to the cousins. Same Gladys, same Gladys is student somewhere. If I am studying somewhere, if I am the student in the university. Okay. What is happening? Same person is taking different roles. Now, when I am in the class, I am the teacher. When I am at home, I am a daughter. When I am um, with my friends, I am a friend. When I am at the university, I am a student. When I am among my, my uh, cousins, I am a sister. So, I will be playing different roles. But what is that? It is the same person taking these different roles. right? So, the same way any word that we use in the sentence, based on the work it does in the sentence, it changes its position. Accordingly, we will also say that that particular thing is that parts of speech. I hope the point is clear. Right? Now, we will see how these infinitives are used as adjectives. So far, we said that infinitives means they are only verbs. A verb which takes up two. So far, we did that. But now, we will see how these infinitives can also act as adjectives, adjectives and other ones that are adverbs. For example, I will say this is a good place to start a reading or I can say to start learning. This is a good place to start learning. Which one is the infinitive here now? To start. To start. So, here to start learning, now this becomes your, it acts as the adjective. Okay. okay. So, this is a good place for what? To, to study. start learning. Uh, to start. To sta study or to start learning or to start practicing, anything you can use that in it. So, here it is acting as the adjective. Right. Can you give me some examples of this? Of this kind? Give your brother something to play with. Give your brother something to play with. To play with. Okay, right. Any other? Find the friend to help you study. Find the friend to help you study. To help you study. Okay. Now, where do you think the, the this is the adjective? It acts as the adjective to help, to help you, you study. study. Right. This is how it goes. So the, this acts as the as the adjective. So here we are using the uh, the infinitives as uh, adjectives. Now we'll see how this can be used as the adverb. Infinitives as as adverbs. I started running. I started running. Okay. For what? To reduce weight. To improve my okay fitness. Good. Next. Can you give me one more? We must leave now in order to catch the train. 
we must leave now in order to catch the train in order to catch the train okay any other where where should i uh, underline it in to order very good okay he has been studying all week mm. so has to improve his grades has been all week so as to so as to improve improve his grades improve his grades hmm okay this is how it goes as the as the adverbs adverbs right okay so now we'll see one more uh, level of it which talks of uh we can say they are as uh, direct objects shall i go with this okay here the infinitives we can use them as direct <coughs> objects you appear to be correct you appear to be correct what exactly do you mean by a direct object and indirect object any idea direct, direct. object means between two people direct 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 object means where the action is done directly on the the object object you know subject doing the action on the object so the object directly receives the action so that is called a direct object indirect object means always there is another thing which comes there another person which comes there as the indirect so in this we use the infinitives as the direct objects can i give some examples of this kind i am not going unless you agree to go with me okay i am not going unless you agree to go with me right they are attempting to solve the problem ah good they are attempting to solve the problems right so this is how you use them as direct objects that means directly the action is uh, done on on this okay that is what we call direct objects okay fine now what we'll do is we'll just uh, take up the uh, there is a slight difference now infinitives and gerunds when i say infinitives and gerunds this is the last point i would like to mention in this because most of the students they get confused between the gerunds and uh, infinitives infinitives always they take up to plus any action any verb gerunds are they take up with the v4 v4 form v4 that is the ing, ing form. form now if i say i mean uh, if i give you the uh, difference between the infinitives and the gerunds then you will have a very clear idea of what these uh, infinitives and what gerunds are gerunds usually we take up ing forms okay and infinitives we take up only two plus verb if i give you an example saying that i like to hike i like to hike on the weekends to hike i becomes your subject this becomes your verb and this becomes your infinitive so on the weekends can be the extra words other words the same thing if i put it in gerund i can say instead of this same verb which is there it can come i like hiking on the weekends i like hiking on the weekends so there the same thing 
the word hike is coming as a V4 form, ing form. So, there it is acting as a gerund. Okay? Can you give an example of this and then put it out in that? She loves to read. She loves to read novels. She loves reading novels. Good. She loves reading novels. Okay. I like to play cricket on Sunday. I like to play cricket on Sundays. Sundays means all Sundays. Okay? I like to play cricket on Sundays. Here? I like I'll playing cricket playing on cricket. Sundays. Right. I like playing Play cricket, cricket on Sundays. On Sundays. They hate to get bad news. Mm. They hate to get bad news. Mm. They hate getting bad news. They hate getting bad news. Okay. So, this is how we use the difference. Can you give some more examples of, of your own into this and that? Any other? Just give a try. I like to cook sweets. I like to cook sweet sweets. dishes. Ah. I like, I like cooking, I like sweet. cooking, cooking sweet, sweet dishes. dishes. Good. Hmm. Any other? Try. I like to ride bike. I like to ride bike. Ah. I like riding bike. I like riding bikes. Okay. I like I like to ride different bikes. I like riding different bikes. Okay. That way you can give the difference between. This is the difference between the infinitives and the generals. So generally people uh, they get confused. Here also you have this word. There also you have that ing. So, what is the difference here? So, for this infinitives, this is how it will be used and there in the gerunds, it will be used in that manner. Okay? Meaning, uh, it meaning, it meaning is same. Here when I say, I hate to get bad news, I hate getting bad news, meaning will be same. The only thing is the difference is in using the structure that we have, that is the difference here. Okay? Yes. So, this is how our infinitives are used. So, now what uh, whatever the first one, the whatever the first one that you started off saying that I, uh, it, uh, it is getting hotter to go out. Okay? Uh, it is getting too hot to go out you said. right? So, we started off from there that is how our infinitives are used. So, infinitives generally we use it with the verbs with to and also we said how it can be used as a subject, how it can be used as an object, uh, where uh, infinitives can be used in, in this manner, the difference between infinitives and gerunds and then we also used with the optional noun and required noun. Okay? And also we said how infinitive can take up with the director di as an adjective, as an adverb and it can be taken as the direct object. So, uh, I hope uh, I cleared everything with the infinitives part of it. Yeah? Any any questions? Any doubts still? It comes with indirect also, ma'am. Yes, it comes. It comes. Uh, 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 with the indirect object, more than the indirect object, direct objects it takes more. Okay. So, indirect objects generally, you know, when it comes to the indirect objects, usually we take it with the things. Okay. But when it comes to the direct objects, they are the ones which uh, which gives more value to your uh, infinitives with the direct objects, right? So, thank you.